Pisces, it's Leslie with your um, with your your thoughts and your for for August, for August, and your month ahead for August. Listen to your intuition. This month is very, really, and you have strong intuition. Your body or environment. Your unique personality attracts attention, and it does. You're very, and you're very intuitive. I mean, you. I think you're. The, the home sign of, of the intuitive person. Um, doors can open for you unexpectedly. An attraction may stir up some strong feelings. The one thing you have to realize is um, because of your intuition and you're very, very sensitive. So try not to get your feelings hurt as much as you'd like to. Okay. Let's see what we have, what, what you're... What I've written here for you is, um, sorry, it is, you will most definitely not lack an urge to be social this month, Pisces. You really want to be social. You want to do more things. People will want to spend every free moment by some shared activity with your friends or partner, and you will have a lot of attention this month. People will want to be with you. You enjoy being playful and you feel comfortable and confident talking with a higher number of people as well. They will listen to you, to everything you have to say. Um, and you will let everything flow. You will not stress about anything and you will just fully enjoy every moment. August will be the real month of love for Pisces. And they will strongly feel the influence of Venus this month. And that will be very good, very, very much so, as far as love goes for you. Um, and Venus, <laughs> the influence of Venus, individuals in a relationship will be romantic and devoted, while the single ones will flirt and may not even be able to choose between the potential partners. <laughs> well, that's, that's up to you, really. Your sensuality will thrive and you will often forget all your responsibilities. Another plus on the newly gained patience, you'll realize that most things aren't as urgent as you thought, and you won't mind waiting for the red lights as long as, even if you're late for work, as long as you, you just think of the patience you need to have, or totally need to have. Your best days are the 5th, the 17th, and the 21st. Your cards are... Um, well, you have have this woman again in your life that is um, um, is there for you, very motherly, very kind. Um, you also have um, many people you're going to go see, family mainly, uh, or maybe they'll come to see you, but they, they like you to bring your children, they like you to bring your dogs, whoever this is, and you want to go see them. You have um, um, thinking about maybe getting a new car, getting your car fixed. Uh, just thinking about going forward also. And this is maybe going with this, goes along with this. They kind of go together, those cards, I feel like they do. Um, they also need, um, you also need, um, so be thinking about something. You're thinking about something. It's um, definitely what you're gonna do, what you're going to do about some money, but it also could be about these things also, could be. Could very much be. And these things would be buying something new, going on a trip to see a relative that's at a distance, um, and getting people together to do it. King of Cups, uh, somebody being very, very good to you, being very loving, very caring. They're around you. Um, your opposition is someone who really wasn't nice to you, hasn't been nice to you, you don't want them to be around your life. You're very unhappy they're like that. But they may be going to change, and they may change to a good person because 
here you are with a star and your goal is to have a good relationship. It definitely is. Definitely. And it will happen. It will happen. Definitely. And Sue is going to pick her angel card. And she has picked it. Sorry. Take the first step toward your goal. And that's good. That's very, very good. Have a great month. Bye-bye.